Hi there, I just wanted to make a quick video after seeing the Primogen struggling with Obsidian and also reading or seeing many people recommending like uh, note-taking tools and so on that increase your productivity. I I'm just pretty happy how I can use uh, Obsidian with Wim mode. So I just thought I will make a quick video how I use uh, Obsidian with basically no mouse. So I have a uh, try to have the same shortcut as I have in Wim, but uh, some of them are not possible. And um, yeah, I will just quickly showcase how I use uh, Obsidian. So if I want to create a new node, let's say uh, I want to create um, like Wim in Obsidian. So then I can have a shortcut for creating my template. So it automatically added the date, the title, so I can say, uh, not usually what I do, I say uh, the origin. So I say, uh, after seeing, and then you can see, you can open parentheses to uh, match existing nodes. So I already have a node of the primogen. So I can just say, after seeing him struggling on YouTube, and then I have uh, the YouTube link here. So I can just make a, a link. That didn't work, so I need to paste like this. And that's usually what I do. And then I just start, okay, I will, let's say, why using Vim, mostly because of Vim motions. So I have a, a thing on that. So I can jump there if I want. So this is my note on Vim language and motions. I can go back and say, okay, second, um, how to activate Vim mode in Obsidian. If I would want, I could now link it to Obsidian. But yeah, you don't really need to do like links all the time, only if it makes sense. So you will get that uh, beautiful graph view here on the side. And uh, maybe I can say, why not use NeoVim or Vim only? And uh, yeah, my workflow and shortcuts maybe. And all of it is uh, basically available on uh, my dot files. I have dot files here and then I have uh, Obsidian. So you can go here and say Obsidian. So I can basically add them here as well. But uh, yeah, you will find all my hotkeys and everything and plug it in there. But yeah, why not? Why using Vim within uh, Obsidian? So I, hopefully you saw already how I don't use the mouse, so I can literally like navigate without doing uh, using the mouse, which makes it pretty fast. I can write like basically on the the speed of thought, so I don't need to think. Okay, how I need to click here to create a new node, whatever I need to link, and so on. So there's many ways that uh, this benefits you. Um, I don't use Vim because uh, somehow it doesn't feel right for nodes because I use a lot of images. So if I want to add here an image, I can just add this Hugo Boss uh, and it, it just works, right? It's also uh, optimized for nodes. So if I want to, hello there. If I want to make it bold, it's just, uh, it will show it bold, but if I go away, it will not. But so we don't see the syntax, which is, I don't need all the markdown. Also the link is sometimes a bit verbose. So it's just much optimized for, so it's NeoVim optimized for, for nodes, so to speak. The activation is, is uh, pretty simple. Uh, you just go here um, to the editor and say, Vim key bindings and you can activate it. That's one thing. And the next thing I already answered. And yeah, my workflow is basically that I don't need to use the mouse. I can just jump be side notes. I can open uh, anything. I can just uh, search for uh, markdown and then have all my markdown rich text. So you can see that here. And uh, then you can also jump to the uh, to all the, the things, right? You, you could open the graph view, which shows you all the, my notes. And yeah, there's so many more, but I think that's all for now. And I only have five minutes in uh, Loom. So yeah, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed.